This is not your typical outback shed. Old gas wells on Stuart Mackenzie's grazing property in remote southwest Queensland are being used to power a process known as Bitcoin mining. And you immediately think, well, that's, you can't do that, of course, but of course you can. You, like, you need computer capacity, you need power, and which they've done, and you need connectivity. So how does it work? The natural gas is processed by a generator to power 66 Bitcoin mining computers inside the Donga, which are then connected to the internet via satellite. Bitcoin miners earn fees when they verify complex cryptocurrency transactions around the world. There's not uh, much infrastructure in terms of uh, an electricity net or the grid or anything, any users. Um, so really we were looking for a market um, which uh, uses energy because we can, prov we can generate power on, on site. This donger generates around $300 per day for Canadian company Bengal Energy, which bought the gas wells. So it's really a baby version of what we're envisaging um, a full size um, to, to look like. Mining for cryptocurrency uses huge amounts of energy. The typical estimate is as much as a small country. Uh, it depends a lot on the price of Bitcoin. The more expensive it is, uh, the more energy it makes sense to uh, waste generating it. But uh, typical comparator countries in New Zealand or Spain. It's the first project of its kind in Australia. I think it's just exciting to see such an innovative approach to, um, to, to using what is a, a very valuable resource. Victoria Pingilly, ABC News, Eramanga.